welcome to my channel. Each week I come on here to talk about my two favorite subjects, outer space and nail polish. So if you're a super space nerd like me, or if you love nail polish, go ahead and hit subscribe right now so you don't miss any of my videos. So do you know the difference between comets, asteroids, and meteors? I was really interested in this this week, so I wanted to do a little research and talk to you guys about what I learned. So basically, Asteroids are rocky bodies um, that are orbiting around our sun out in space. Um, you'll see a lot of the asteroids in our solar system are in asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. They can be as big as 600 miles across to as small as like a dust particle. And then you have comets, which are basically icy cosmic snowballs. Um, they're made of rock and dust and um, frozen gas. Comets also orbit the sun, but as they get closer to the sun, the heat from the sun supplements the frozen gas and turns it into gas. And the head, the coma of the comet, it starts to like light up. It looks like it's lit up because of that gas coming off. And then you'll see the tail is the gas spewing out basically like the back end of the comet. And those tails can stretch for millions of miles. They believe that there's a ton of comets orbiting our sun out in the Kuiper belt, which is out past Neptune. And scientists know of 3,697 comets right now. And then last but not least, you have a meteor. A meteor is basically some piece of space. So whether that be a rock, dust particles, pieces of comets that fly by, that basically comes down and tries to go through Earth's atmosphere. Um, as it does that, most meteors, the vast majority of meteors actually burn up in the Earth's atmosphere, so they never actually hit Earth's ground. But the ones that do, the ones that make it through the atmosphere and completely make it to Earth's ground and land on solid Earth, um, those are called meteorites. Scientists believe that 48 tons of meteor material hits the Earth every single day. That's a lot. Obviously we don't see them all, um, whether that's because there's a full moon or if it's during the day, obviously, you know, but we do have meteor showers. There are a few that happen every year and they're so cool to see. So basically what a meteor shower is, is when a comet goes close to earth, pieces of the comet start breaking off and all of those happen to hit our earth at the same time because it's passing our Earth. So one of the most well-known meteor showers is the Persesis. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but I'll type it up here so you guys can see how it's spelled. But this is meteor shower. It happens because of the Swift Tuttle Comet that goes by our Earth every year. And it normally occurs around August 12th. That's when it hits its peak. And during peak times, if you go out and look during the meteor shower, you could see between 50 to 75 meteors an hour. Like that is so cool to see, it's gorgeous. So when it gets closer to that time, I'll post on my social media channels and let you guys know like, hey, go check out the meteor shower tonight. Just so y'all know it's coming up because it's really amazing to see and you definitely don't wanna miss it. So now that we've talked about comets, meteors, and asteroids, let's get to today's nail portion of the video. Today, I wanted to swatch and review Orly's Dreamscape collection, so keep watching. I start all of my manicures and swatches with a clean dry nail and a coat of base coat. Today I'm using the Orly Bonder base coat. The first polish I'm swatching from the Dreamscapes collection is Dreamweaver. This is a soft mauve cream and it goes on very smooth um, just like all of Orly's polishes. They have such a good formula. It goes on smooth, it's self leveling and this specific polish, um, it actually is, could be a one coater polish. I think it has such great opacity with just one coat, but I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it with two coats just so you could see what it looks like with two coats in full opacity. I think this is such a beautiful nude color. It does remind me of Roam With Me from the Desert Muse collection that Orly put out um, back in fall. So I'm gonna put them side by side so you can see the difference between the two. So the next polish I'm swatching is Ethereal Plain. And this is a pink cream with like a blue shift. Um, you could see that 
blue shimmer when it hits the light. It's so beautiful. I'm not normally a light polish person. I normally like darker polishes, but this polish absolutely blew my mind. I am so in love with it. Um, and I just think it's such a beautiful pearly pink with that blue shift when you hit the light. It's just absolutely gorgeous. The next color I'm swatching is Free Fall. So this is a silvery gray cream and this is another one that blew my mind. I'm like I said, I'm not normally a light polish person, but these two are definitely changing my mind. I absolutely love this. This also has a metallic look to it. So um, you could see if you look really closely, you can kind of see those streaky lines like you get with metallic polish, but I think it's just so beautiful. Um, they did a great job with this one as well. I absolutely love this polish. So the next polish I'm swatching is Astral Projection, and this is a gray cream. Um, this one is a little bit thinner than the other ones, so you definitely need more than one coat to get full opacity. But I did get full opacity within two coats, um, and this is just a beautiful cool tone gray that I think is such a good neutral. It really goes with anything. Um, and I think it's a beautiful color. They did a great job on their formula, just like they do with all of their polishes. The next polish I'm swatching is Into the Deep, and this is a dark gray cream. Um, it's an almost like charcoal color, and this is a really good, like, lighter black, I think. It's almost black but not quite um, so if you're looking for a really deep gray this one's perfect this one definitely needs more than one coat it is not a one coater um, so bear in mind that you'll need more than one coat to get full opacity with this one but it's absolutely beautiful once you hit full opacity the next color I'm swatching is air of mystique and this is a dark teal metallic. And I, I love their metallic polishes. I love that look of metallic polish where it kind of leaves those lines. Um, I think it just gives it a little extra something. Um, and I think it's absolutely beautiful. I feel like with this one, you can achieve full opacity with just one coat. But I think that second coat just really helps it. Um, be completely even especially when you're watching the lines sometimes it's good to do two, two coats just to make sure you're getting those lines really beautiful and straight so that's the whole collection I think they did such a beautiful job with these polishes I am absolutely in love with this collection the soft pinks absolutely blew me away I'm not normally like a light polish person. I really like dark colors for nail polish, but this collection was stunning and so beautiful. And Orly always does a great job with their formulas and um, the nail polish always applies so easily and beautifully. And this collection is no exception to that. If you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and hit the like button right now and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. I hope you all have a stellar week. Bye!